Okay, good morning, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stock Swish Show Live. I'm here in the room, and I'm going to go over the market. So anyone can ask me questions, even though I'm doing this recording here and talking about the market. I'm going to say what I was thinking this morning when I saw this, and then I will answer any questions for anyone. Actually, when I got up this morning and saw this, I was ecstatic, elated. I mean, almost to the point that it was amazing. Actually, let me talk about the cues. Let me talk about the cues first, because this is really what the first, first thing I looked at in the morning when I got up, whatever time it was, I mean, it was early. And I had seen that the market close strong yesterday in the queues. Got up almost to 110, 109.55, pretty much ran out of day. But then in the morning, guess what? We gapped up over 110 over the next number in the pre-market. This is the pre-market of the QQ queues, okay? So we gapped up this morning. You can see it right here. Now, is this an ideal gap to buy immediately, aggressively in the sky? Not necessarily, but it proves the strength in the market. And that's what I saw that made me feel ecstatic this morning when I woke up, because I realized then that it just gave me the confirmation that in fact we are higher and we'll make a new high and we will do that before the end of the calendar month, which I said that we would. Now, whether we close today with a red body or a doji or a green body, it's neither here nor there. We are just continuing higher, okay? So let's look at the whole big chart here, actually. Let me go back. Here's where we are in the big scheme of things, okay? And this is what everyone is seeing here, the extension here of the market running all the way, well, pretty much since 2011. So pretty much since 2011, and some people are even looking back since 2009, but this doesn't count for anything for me. But really here where we started holding around 2011, it's been about three, three and a half years that the market has made a consistent bullish continuation move higher in an uptrend. And that people think or feel is extended. Look at how this is rallying here today. Anyways, this is what people are saying is extended, but it's not. So I'm telling you that this is not extended. If it gets up to 120, will it be considered extended by me? No. If it gets up to 125 and makes an all-time brand new high, which we really haven't done yet here in the QQQs, although we have in the SPY, will I consider the market extended then? No, I still won't. Now, I have been talking about this recently since I saw it, which was just within the last 30 to 45 days that I realized that not only would the rally continue in the bullish uptrend of the market through 2015, which I knew and saw in the gap from October, but that it this could continue for quite a long time now. Like, I don't know how long exactly, but it could continue, it's definitely going to continue into 2016, and it could continue for years because it's so unexpected what is going to happen here that people are not going to be prepared for it. And then they're going to realize that they actually – should have bought in here, right here, right right now, like in the last month, like even here now, that this is still okay to be long the market. Your stop will vary for it in here now if you haven't taken it, but it's still a great long because there's new buying that's coming in the market, and that is what li is lifting it higher. And as we've discussed about how institutions present themselves in the market and money, they don't take a position and exit immediately. So th there's new buying that's happening here. And therefore, there will be no exit at 120. So do you understand what I'm saying? And for new buying to be coming in at this placement here that everyone is seen as extended is how I'm calling what the market's going to do to be phenomenal for the rally that will flow through it. Because this is actually a place that I am seeing is being bought with new positions of consequence that will not be lifted out soon. And yet this is a place that many, many people, professionals, are saying that the market will, that they're either rally will soon be over or is done and extended. Like even the people that are calling the market higher think 120, 125. But I'm saying, I'm saying 150 in the in this QQQs. That was the number I gave for that. 130, 132, 135, 150. Let me write that down. I forget that. 145. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, I was ecstatic when I saw this this morning because, because I knew this would happen. 
And even though this isn't a great gap to buy necessarily on the live day, although if you bought it and have the stop where I told you to put it, you're in it and it's holding and you're in it and it's not going to break now. And if this doesn't break the low in here by 12 o'clock noon, it won't today, which is pretty phenomenal because this is not a gap that I would have necessarily aggressively bought here. Like if this was a stop, would I have like been in love with this today? The answer is no. No, I wouldn't have. But it's still showing and giving a confirmation in the bullishness of the market. What I find really amazing, and again, I looked at this again this morning when I was doing my stuff like really, really, really early, um, was the fact that I saw it here. Like everything that this is happening right now, I saw on this day. It was a Saturday that I looked at this. It was November 1st. But it was Friday on October 31st that this gap occurred in the market. And then I sat down on Saturday morning and I saw this guy here. And I realized, and I called the whole following year of 2015 and I, I saw in my, I just saw it. I just saw what it would do. And it's doing it now. But I mean, the fact that on this day that I could see that this would happen here and that I could even see past this to even tell you the other stuff. But I, from, from this one little guy, this is a red bar, by the way. It actually didn't even go anywhere in the day. It has a taily thing. The actual length of the body is like less than 70 cents. It's red. It didn't go anywhere in the day. But it's all because of the gap. So I read in this one little person here of no significance that anyone could even see what this would, that this would happen. This is how I see all this for the whole year from that one little guy there. Now there's other things too, but this is the main, This it was the day that I saw this, or the day after, because it was the Saturday, I sat down and just, it just, I just saw it, I said, oh my Lanta. And I guess the most powerful thing that I want to describe to you here today in the video and just for the room, is that support and resistance are areas number one, targets are areas number two, but there's nothing more powerful than the gap. There is just nothing more powerful than gaps that I could see and predict 12 months out, even five months out now, one, two, three, four, five, six months out, that I could see six months out, that I could see that far out and ahead of time. The great thing about gaps is you could play them on the live day, which is in the live moment for the cash, but that, that it could tell you long time out what something's going to do. And that to me is genius. I mean, that's to me is phenomenal. And it's all in the power of the gap. But it's really the rating system that I teach in the class to know what a good gap is. Because there's the, the market gaps almost every day. And 99% and, and of these gaps are worthless. Up, up ones and down ones in here. But the fact that I saw this one, which doesn't look like anything of any consequence, to know, to, to see this today from this and even beyond, which I realized this morning when I was saw it myself and I realized that I could see this from this thing here. It just gave me the confirmation again of the power of the gap. I think this is where the passion for me to teach really takes hold and grabs people and why many of you are here is because I truly, truly believe in what I say. Otherwise, I wouldn't trade or miss my own money. Yes, I'm making money trading and all of that is great. But the passion that drives me to even do it or even teach is not just to make money. It's the idea that I know that this is so phenomenal that it's almost like I feel like you need to know it. Like I feel like people need to know how phenomenal this is. Now, is everyone going to believe me? Absolutely not. And that's why there will always be a market. There will always be a market because there will always be people that just don't get it. And there will always be more people that don't get it that do. And this is, goes above and beyond people's psychological issues and problems. In other words, there will be people that get what I say, but can't pull it together because they have serious issues about money, and therefore they cannot get their head on straight to trade right. Now, can they be overcome? Sure. Will everyone overcome them? No. They just won't be able to do it because they won't want to do it. They will not want to change. And you have to change if you have issues about money and risk and loss and fear if you want to be successful in the market, even after you learn a strategy that works. But I'm telling you of all the people on the planet, even if, even if I teach all the people that don't have psychological issues, some will still just not get it, will insist that the market is going to break, will insist that the market is extended, will swear 
and short the market at 120, 125, or even after it makes a new high, they'll short the market and say it's extended. People did it back in here, and it is already done. And I'm not talking about baby people. I'm talking about people that actually have real money have shorted this market. Why did you think we had some of these red bars in here? I mean, this didn't happen just by happenstance. This was real selling that occurred in here, shorting too. So there are people that have traded longer than I'm alive that will not conceptually grasp or understand or even believe what I know, even if I taught them. So I, that's what makes me passionate about telling you this and pointing it out and saying it every day and trying to teach you to reinforce it with you. Does it make a difference to me in the end, whether you believe me or not, or even trade or take my class or make money with me or even do exactly what I tell you to do? In the end, not really. Because it's on you whether you're profitable or not. And my life will go on. I'll continue to be successful and make money in the market and do what I know forever. But it is, I actually think that I'm helping you. And people who want to get it, when I tell you these things, and I know that it will be meaningful for the people that get it in a way that I will impact your life if you listen to me financially and emotionally and spiritually and physically, because I will have a major impact on your life, okay? And in fact, Tom is a great example of this. Tom, are you listening? Are you here? Yeah, you are here. Are you listening though? Tom, are you listening? I'm gonna say something that I want you to hear. Surf Dog, why are you even looking to short anything else today? I will look at it, but Tom, are you listening to me or ignoring me? Surf Dog wants me to rate another gap. It's 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> All right, what I was gonna say was, that, um, look, look at this here. Jaguar Paul actually went long this. Did anyone else go long this before I finish my thought here? Ay, 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 As I'm sitting here talking, as I'm sitting here talking right now, look at the market. Jaguar Paul, are you still in this? Did anyone else go long the market? What a ridiculous call I just made here. I mean, this didn't have to hold here today at all and still would have been great, but it is. That's it. This is the low of the day. And if you took it and told you, I told you to put the stop at 109.90, you're in it. Anyways, Tom is a great example for this because I've impacted his life and his trading. Okay. I've impacted his life and his trading. And he has been trading for over 20 years. Okay. But I have had an impact on his life emotionally. Okay. As a friend, as a person. And I've impacted his trading by things that I have said to him. Even though he's a very independent thinker and he doesn't listen to everything I say and, he, and we disagree on some things like catastrophically, okay, and our personalities are complete and utter opposites, like to the point of ridiculousness. But even someone like him, who's very, very stubborn and has traded longer than ever, okay, I have impacted that person's life. So it's a great example, but we've kept in touch. So... Even if, if I've had an impact on your life now and you're seeing the fruition of it and you're making money and you're here with me and the things that I'm saying to you are grasping and taking hold right now, go with it. If I haven't made an impact on your life yet or you're back and forth or you're in a transition yourself, keep listening. Stay with the videos. Keep in touch with me. The impact may have an effect at some point where you decide to do the class and you want to actually learn it. And then it comes back around for you. But I don't think that anyone that comes in contact with me in any way, shape, or form will ever forget me. And it's not just really my personality, which is very, very strong. It is the fact that I am say things that are very different about how to train and meaningful. And sometimes it takes longer than other people to really get that. But there will always be a market because there will always be more people that just don't conceptually buy into what I teach because it is so unusual and so unique that to many people, it just simply doesn't make any sense because to many people, it just makes no sense how on, that I could get up in the morning on November 1st and see this red bar 
with no momentum and a tiny tail and to see that, that I could see this and beyond from that one thing. But I did. And it's because of the power of the gap. And it's not just any gap. It's golden gaps and gaps that rate 20 points or more. So there were some people that just won't get that. But they will put all kinds of indicators on the charts. They will buy a million systems and platforms, and they will believe in moving averages, and they will look at volume, and they will look at Fibonacci's, and they will buy into lots of things that seem to make sense. And then on paper, seem to make sense. And that seemed to make sense, but I'm telling you what I do actually makes sense. You may not get that until after you take the class. After you take the class, you realize that it does make sense. But obviously, you have to pay for the class before you take it. So you don't really know it makes sense until you learn it, okay? After you learn it, then you see it makes sense, and then you believe. But either way, people hear me talk, even if they listen to me, conceptually, some people still won't get it, and therefore won't ever take the class to learn it, to really know that it works. But conceptually, people just won't ever, it will never be swayed to the point, I guess this is what I'm trying to say, that everyone in the world will get what I do. Because the market is set up for the people that are special to make a lot of money. And it is a special, special thing to see, to see this. So I guess I'm trying to teach you that I want you to be special. I want you to be with me. I want you to be special. I want you to listen to what I say. I want you to get it. And, it, and until you do, just do exactly what I say like today. But I think you people are special that have found me, that have paid for the class. Because you took a chance. Because you didn't know what you were getting into. But everybody that takes it realizes after the fact the level of information and that's why I have a successful business and I also came up with a new word yeah that's that's the new word here I started using that with someone else this week it's called VSP this is what it is it's it's VSP it's more than VIP it's called a very special person you people are very special persons because you're here with me the people that have taken the class that are with me you're very special you're special to me to be here every day you I'm letting you into my world I don't have to let you into my world. I mean, you do know that. I'm letting you into my world here. When I fail, it's right in your face. I'm failing in front of you. And you hear the frustration of my voice that we take a trade, it doesn't work. And then you hear the days where we make money and we succeed. But I let you into my world by being here and sharing this stuff with you every single solitary day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you are very special people to be here with me. And I'd rather be a very special person to someone than a VIP, which is a very important person. And how this came up this week that I just, I made it up when I was talking to someone this week. I've been meeting some extremely, extremely important people. But actually, some of them are very special too. And that's where I came up with a term when I realized that one of the people I met was very special. And then I made up the name VSP. But the person's a VIP too. And then I realized that I am probably going to meet a lot of very important people with what I'm doing right now. Which I'll tell you more later but they will not all be very special to me. So you would rather be someone that's very special to me than very important. Because there's lots of people out there that are very important and they're not very special in your life. I think that's all I have to say today. Does anyone have any other questions about anything else? Surf Dog, I don't feel like I'm reading anything else today. I'm exhausted. It's 10.30, and I have to put my game face on in two hours <laughs> in a meeting, and I have to look fabulous doing it. Does anyone have any questions about the market here or anything else before we break for today? You're all VSPs. Everyone that's here with me every day, I'm going to start using that term more. It is meaningful. Target for the QQQs for today? 11050, 11075, 11060, 111 is a dream target today. I don't think the market gets over 111 today. That is the dream target today for the market. I don't think the market gets over 111 today. I don't think it does. I really don't think it does. But you know what I just saw here? We could gap up Monday morning. I just saw that right now, this second, I just as I'm talking and you're asking me the targets. I wouldn't be surprised. And I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility. And I have no idea what the futures do over the weekend. But I'm telling you, the market could gap up again Monday morning. We can actually do this. We could just gap up Monday a little bit again and then hold in here. We could just go boop, boop, boop.
boo, boo, boo. We could gap up again on Monday morning. That's crazy, but I'm saying it's not out of the realm of possibility. I don't think we get over 111 today. We could gap up Monday morning. I'm just shorting the wind. Everything to next week, we're going to get tons and tons and tons of great gaps. Earnings season is upon us. I picked the perfect one yesterday. Today we did two things. I did. You just got to. You just have to do exactly what I'm doing. You're welcome. Okay, good. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great day. Have a fabulous day. Good job today if you did everything. If you have any questions, email me. If you want to sign up for the Gap class, email me. Deadline's this afternoon. I guess that's it. All right. Have a good weekend, everyone. You're welcome. Thank you, Frequent Flyer.